The idea of doing a Xinjiang special has always been on our minds, and we want to do it right. The region has strong strategic importance. It's China's frontier in many ways. Protecting tradition amid modernization, China's determination to root out poverty, the place of Islam in the country, fighting terrorism at the grassroots, and new economic ties along the ancient Silk Road. We spent six weeks filming to provide a true picture of Xinjiang, not the true picture. The series is also about the challenges of change and the price. For a long time, there have been many images of China's far western region. When people talk about Xinjiang, there are often misconceptions. For example, Xinjiang belongs only to Uyghurs. It used to be an independent region. It's an isolated region of unrest. There's little government support. We would like to break the stereotypes of Xinjiang. In fact, Xinjiang is like many other places in China that is in the process of modernization. And many Western countries have had a similar experience of modernization that results in social changes and the changes in people's lives. But the situation in Xinjiang is more complicated as it involves ethnic issues and religion, especially against the backdrop of globalization. Xinjiang is at the crossroads of development, where modernization versus tradition becomes a key balancing act. And the bigger challenge is people have different views on how to bring positive changes. It's an extraordinary experience to explore this region which not many outsiders, even Chinese, are familiar with. It's not about the number of stories. It's how to present Xinjiang in the global context. 18 episodes may seem like a lot for TV, but it's only a glimpse of the drastic changes and transformation. We aim to provide different perspectives to the global discourse on Xinjiang, and told by its own people. We hope the stories help to find their own perspectives I'd like to say understanding is what the Xinjiang special aims to achieve.